So over here, you can see that I have a database and over here, you can see A's is a field. If I were to type in, let's say two right now, and then you can see that I can simply enter the value right here. And if I were to press AT, I can still enter the value. But what I want right here is I want the A's to be between 18 to 60 and any value uh, below 18 or greater than 16, I do not want this um, field to accept. So in order to do that, you have to enter something called the validation rules. So to do that, first of all, I'm going to go around over here, right click on the design table and go to design view right here. And over here, you can see A's is in number format. So over here, what I want to do is I'm going to go around over here into validation rules. So once I click over here, you can see that there's the three dot icon. So if I were to click here, then what you can do is you can go around and type in the validation rule. So I'm going to type in here uh, saying like greater than or equal to 18. That means this will only, this field will now only accept values that are greater than 18 in number. So I'm going to press OK right here and that validation is there. And if the validation is wrong, then I want to enter out a message. So I'm just going to say uh, enter uh, is over um, in enter is that is over 18. So I'm going to type in just like this. So now I'm going to right click right here and go to data seed view, save this out just like this. So I'm just going to go around, save this. And now what happens is that if I were to go to A's right here and type in six and press enter, it says enter A's that is 18. So I have to enter out an A's that is 18 right here. And there you go. I can also go around right here on to uh, the design view now. So over here, you can see that I can enter a value greater than or equal to 18 right now. If I were to go around right here, and if I want another validation rule over here as well, saying that I want to enter a value less than 60, then I can go around and type in and right here. And then I can say less than or equal to. So simply add in the sign and then type in 60 right here. So once you do that and press OK, the validation rule is applied. So here I can uh, add in a text saying enter A is that is over 18 and below six, uh, not six, uh, 16, but 60 right here, just like this. So once I do that, this validation rule has been added out as well. So if I were to right click and then go to the data seed view, I can save this table out. So let me just save everything. And now if I were to type in over 70, let's say for example, the 70, it says enter the A's that is over 18 and below 60. So you got that out and I can go around and type in 55 and you can see that without a problem, it just accepts out that data. If I were to enter two again, then I get the same message. So I have to enter a data within that range. So I can go around, type in 90, it does not accept that data. So that is how you can use the validation rule to make sure that you correct um, that, that you enter the correct data inside of the da database that you see right there. So that is how you can work around with the validation of numbers inside of MS Access database. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.